Many people love gummy candies, small tasty and colorful treats, which often accompany the childhood of all children. Gummy candies, with their adorable shapes and sweet taste, look like an innocent treat, but not everyone, knows how they are made. They are a broad category of gelatin-based chewable sweets, and come in a wide variety of shapes. Belgian director, Alina Niepkens, has created a short film, shot in reverse, which shows the various processes of making gummy candies. The key ingredient, is gelatin, a product that is obtained through a process of hydrolysis of collagen, the most abundant protein in the human body, and the main component of the connective tissue of animals, that is tendons, ligaments, bones, and cartilages. The connective tissue is treated, and through some processes, such as boiling and extraction in aqueous solution, it is possible to extract the collagen. The molecular bonds between the collagen filaments are broken down to reorganize, thus forming gelatin, a solid and translucent product of animal origin. About 80% of the gelatin produced in Europe is mainly obtained from the pig's rind, while the remainder comes from the bones and cartilages of pigs and cattle. Gelatin is found not only in gummy candies, but also in marshmallows and puddings, in some cheeses, yogurt, and frozen vegetables, as well as in some medications and vitamin preparations. Inside a large tank, all the ingredients are added, corn syrup, sugar, water, gelatin, food colors, and flavors, which often come from fruit juices and citric acid. The resulting mixture is mixed and cooked at about 115 degrees. At this point, it is poured into special molds in order to give the candy a specific shape, for example a bear, a worm, a bottle. A particular machine imprints the chosen shape on the molds, which are covered with cornstarch, in order to prevent the gummy candies from sticking. The liquid mixture is poured from a machine into the molds and then cooled. It is left to rest for a long period of time, in the drying rooms, so that the dough can cool and solidify. Finally, a machine removes the candies from the molds. The cornstarch molds disintegrate. The discarded starch is then sieved and reused to create new molds. The candies pass through a cleanser, and as they turn they detach from the cornstarch. They are then equipped with a wax coating, which gives them a shiny appearance, and prevents them from sticking to each other. At this stage, they are ready to be packaged and sold. If you want to avoid animal gelatin from now on, just check the food product label. You will not have to give up gummy candies, as there are also vegetable gelatins. The best known is agar agar, a polysaccharide, obtained from the processing of red algae, particularly widespread in Japan. It is 100% vegetable, and is mainly used in vegetarian and vegan cuisine, as well as in the preparation of puddings and candies. Gelatin can also be obtained from the peel of fruit, and in this case it is called pectin. 